So in this problem we're asked, what are the solutions of the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 8x minus 12 equals 0? So let's just first rewrite our equation. So 4x squared minus 8x minus 12 equals 0. And so in order to solve this, what we're going to have to do is factor. So right, generally when you have a quadratic equation, you're going to have to factor it. And the thing that makes this a bit more difficult than others is we have a constant out front. So it's going to be a little bit different the way we would factor it if it didn't have the constant. So the way I like to do this is you take your constant out front. So in this case, it's 4. You're going to multiply it by the constant uh, right here. So the one at the end. So it's going to be 4 times minus 12. So go ahead and do that. If you do that, you should get it equals minus 48. And then what we want to do is find two numbers that multiply to minus 48, but add up to the constant term in the middle. So minus 8. So two numbers that multiply to minus 48, but add to minus 8. And so let's try and think about that. Uh, just try some numbers. If we did minus 6 and 8, those do multiply to minus 48, but they don't add up to minus 8. So that wouldn't work. Uh, we could try 12 and minus 4. Uh, that would multiply to minus 48, but if we add them, we would just get 8. So what we want to do is swap the signs. So it would be minus 12 and 4. And so if we multiply those, we get minus 48. If we add them, we'll get minus 8. So those two numbers are going to be the ones that we choose. So now that we have those numbers, you're going to rewrite uh, your just beginning part. So 4x squared. And then replace minus 8x with uh, these numbers with an x attached on the end. So minus 12x right because that's this number and then plus 4 uh, times x this number and then all you want to do is just include your constant at the end so minus 12 and so now that we got it in this form what we're going to have to do is factor out a number so we can uh, get this to be uh, just x minus something so in this case we could factor out a 4x so this would become an x right so if I factor out a 4x of this part it would become x right because 4x times x is 4x squared and then we got to factor out the 4x from minus 12x uh, which would be minus 3 right because 4x times minus 3 is minus 12x and then what we want to do is have this part we're going to try and factor out something to get an x minus 3 again so you want to have x minus 3 uh, whatever you factor out of this and so you seem like we would get an x minus 3 if we factor out a 4 so if we factor out a 4 uh, from this, it would just become x, right? Because 4 times x is 4x. And then if we factor out a 4 from minus 12, we're going to get minus 3. So that's what you want to have, a minus 3, uh, or x minus 3, or x minus the same number on whatever yours is. So x minus 3 on the inside. And so what you're going to want to do is take uh, the ones in parentheses, so x minus 3, write it right here. And then you're going to combine these two. So combine your 4x and your plus 4. So 4x plus 4. And so this is going to be uh, the factor of this. And so all we got to do now is just solve for x, and we'll get our answers. So we're trying to make it 0, right? So we got to find when this equals 0 and when this equals 0, and we're going to get two different values. So for this one, we have x minus 3 equals 0. We add 3 to both sides. We should get that x equals 3. So one of our values is going to be 3. We got to find the other one, though. So 4x plus 4 equals 0. We minus 4 from both sides. 4x equals minus 4. And then we divide by 4. We'll get that x equals minus 1. So our two values are going to be 3 and minus 1. If we look at our answer choices, uh, it looks like b is going to be x equals minus 1 and x equals 3. And so the answer to this problem is going to be b.